have a ghost in the van. Like last night actually was really scary. Welcome to Lindy Van. We are Sam and Gabby and with our puppy Basie we are traveling around Europe in our self-converted camper van. So far we have traveled up to the Arctic Circle, explored the beautiful coast of Norway and now we are making our way down to the south of Europe. Thank you for following our journey so far. We upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications and follow us on Instagram for regular updates on our adventure. Apparently the summer's over now, but I refuse to allow that. It feels just like we're beginning summer now. It feels like late spring, early summer for us because we've been up north so much and it's been so cold. But uh, yeah, now we're going a bit south. I woke up this morning and thought, I want to get in a summery mood. So we're going to have a smoothie. We got this smoothie maker like, I don't know how long ago, way before we left for the trip. And we've not used it once. So um, yeah, time to use it. We've got a bag full of fruit that we got yesterday. We've got a bunch of ice cubes in the fridge. So we gonna have ourselves a smoothie. We have got in here, we've got an apple, a banana, chia seeds, flax seeds, dried blueberries, peanut butter, cashews, ice and oat milk. Oh, that looks amazing! smoothie for my wife. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Lovie. I'd say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's wow. very nice. Oh, good. I usually like it a bit more runny. Not a bad start to the season. That's quite yummy. Oh, that's really yummy. I just had a little nap. We were listening to Jet's podcast and their voice is just soothingly for me to sleep a little bit. And I woke up and I was like, oh, are we in Denmark? <laughs> but we're just driving over the bridge and it's such a beautiful clear day. We can see all the way to Copenhagen and uh, we're almost in Denmark. I installed a little uh, like electric foot switch on the tap on the pl on the on the plumbing so that you only use as much water as you need and you can press it with the foot. Um, which we had in the last van, it worked really well. But this foot switch is a bit different to the one we had before. Oh, pardon me. So, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with it. There's the Denmark sign. Here we go. Denmark, country number 12. Well, hey buddy, country number 12. <laughs> well traveled doggy. Yes you are. Now we're going into the tunnel. So we're just about to go underground now into the tunnel. And this part of the bridge where the bridge meets the underground, this is on a man-made island and the whole island was created just to have the bridge go underneath the water so that there's an area of water where huge ships can still pass. Super interesting. Not only for the ships but also being closer to the shore there's more biodiversity on the seabed um, so instead of making columns for the bridge going under all the kind of the flora and all the biodiversity that's how they protect it. 
That's right, puppy. Look at those eyelashes. How long are their eyelashes? So pretty. We've made it to Denmark, finally, and we found the location of the dance that we're gonna to go to this evening. So we're looking forward to taking you along with us too. It's just around the corner. The studio is called Happy Feet Studio, and it's run by a really nice couple. Um, so yeah, looking forward to going back there. It's, it's kind of funny, like van life in a city is pretty grim sometimes, but when you've got a hobby like doing Lindy Hop, which is pretty much only done in cities, then uh, yeah, it, uh, it makes it quite nice staying in a city. Of course, van life is really nice in the countryside, but yeah, it's good. It's an all-rounder good one. And also, don't even get me started on how much money we save in terms of hostels or hotels and stuff. We just parked up here. It's free parking for three hours between 8 and 7 p.m. It's 5 p.m. now, so yeah, looking forward to a nice cozy night's sleep here. After we've been dancing, of course. <laughs> Nice socks. What? Nice socks. Yeah. <laughs> we got them for you. Some lady. Some lady. Uh huh. This looks quite new. It actually looks quite old. It's just been uh, refurbished. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. I think it's new. I think you're poop. <laughs> <laughs> you're so weird. We just went for a nice little walk around this area and uh, yeah, just to do a little lap with Basie. And we found the studio, so we we're only about three minutes walk from the studio, so it'll be really convenient later on. And we also found a really nice bar. Yeah, this bar was inside like an old garage, so it still had the signs and the whole setup, so it looked really hip. So I think we're gonna have a quick dinner now and then go and grab a drink before the dance. Hmm. Thanks for dinner, darling. Well, you know. Got a few fuel... Really? Sorry. I stuck in. It's always hard leaving Basie in the van, but we know that he's fine in there. He's never destroyed anything or sometimes when we come back to the van, he's asleep on the bed and he just looks up and he's like, hmm, um, you're back. You're home. No, he's such an adaptable puppy. We're so lucky that we are able to leave him just for a little bit. And the venue again is just around the corner, so we can come and check maybe in a couple hours to see yeah, if he's alive. Yeah. But he usually just sleeps. I'm gonna have to come and change my shirt at some point anyway, because I'll be a sweaty mess later. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll check on him then. <laughs> There's something always really exciting about arriving to an event to a venue that you've never really been to before, trying to find a swing dance in a new city and you can hear the music before you can actually see the venue. Yeah. It's always super exciting. Yeah, or sometimes like you don't even know the address and just wondering and then you, oh, I can hear it, there's jazz. Let's yeah. follow the jazz. So good morning everyone, last night's, uh, last night's social dance was really fun. We both felt really out of practice somehow and like lost stamina. The dance was three hours long, but or four hours long that we stayed there. Um, but it was really, really fun. The band were fun, they were, it was their first ever gig playing, I mean ever. So uh, yeah, they were really cute. And uh, yeah, we were just knackered afterwards so we came back and went straight to bed. 
on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it was so much fun. It's just nice to see a different... Oh, Basie doesn't like when I talk to the camera that much. It's like, why are you talking to this thing? It's just nice to see how different communities work and they have such awesome studio. They have showers and a sauna and a bar and multiple rooms. I just loved it. Oh, I wish we had something like that in Brighton. That's the dream, but unfortunately property is too expensive in England. At least that's my hypothesis as to why we don't have something like this in London or Brighton, but or anywhere else in the UK that I'm aware of. I know a lot of societies, university societies have places that they can use for free, but yeah. Ah, anyway, we need to go and catch a ferry from Rudby. Rudby, um, to Germany. And I'm really disappointed that we haven't got a couple of days to explore Copenhagen, but we, um, we, we booked the ferry a few days ago and then we spent two nights in Sweden on the coast and then we came here for the dance and now we've got to go already. So yeah, the ferry's in four hours. We're in Copenhagen, so we've got to drive for, well, the ferry's in three hours. Uh, we've got to drive for two hours and then jump on the ferry. To Germany. To Germany, finally. So uh, yeah, it's been a long time in the Nordics or Scandinavia. I don't know, Scandinavia is Norway, Sweden and Denmark and Iceland. But not Finland, right? And the Nordics are all of them? I don't know. Anyway, it's been a long time in Scandinavia, in the Nordics, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we're now heading into mainland Europe and we're gonna shoot across Germany, stop in Berlin for a little bit, just a couple days, see some friends, and then, um, and then head down to the Balkans. Do you need map direction? Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just driving for the sake of the vlog, so I could just be going around in circles. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give some map directions to Sam, but I'm super excited to head south. It feels like we're chasing the summer. Like, it's just getting a bit cooler. The, the leaves are getting a bit brownier, and we're just following the sun into the south. I love this Copenhagen orange, it's so classic of Copenhagen. It's just like this gorgeous pastel-y orange. And lots of places in Copenhagen are this colour. But unfortunately, as I said before, we don't get to see much of Copenhagen on this trip. We've been here a bunch of times. <laughs> We've been here a bunch of times before. Um, and it, Copenhagen feels like, if I had to say what kind of city it feels like, it feels like a cross between Gothenburg or Stockholm, like a generic, typical Scandi. Oh. 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 Is that controversial? Should I not say that? <laughs> Am I not allowed to say that? Calling someone city generic is a bit... Well, no, no, no. I'm saying Copenhagen is like a cross between a generic Scandinavian city, Amsterdam because of the bikes and the bricks and the flatness, and Berlin because it's a bit like, I don't know, it's got a bit more... Edge. Spice. Than, uh, than the other Scandinavian cities. Hello everyone, this is future Sam coming to you <laughs> from Germany. Um, thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, but just wanted to say that next week's video or the next video from us is going to be next Sunday. I'm not going to have a chance to edit Wednesday's video in time because We've had some bad news and we need to hit the road and drive for a couple of hours. If you follow us on Instagram, then you know partly what's up. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be back with you on Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you next week.